Motorcycle Adventure Dirt Bike TV is proudly supported by Adventure Spec in England, Rally Raid Products, Giant Loop in the United States, and Adventure Moto in Australia. There's not too many places in Australia where one moment you can be riding through a rocky riverbed and then take on a 1700 metre hill climb and be rewarded with a view like this. Aussie dirt and adventure riders tend to see a Simpson Crossing or Cape York Adventure as compulsory items to put on their bucket lists. But after riding 1200 kilometres over six days in central Otago, I'm convinced you've got to add this trip to the list. But New Zealand is full of contrasts, and let's just say this will be a working holiday. We're heading to the South Island of New Zealand for this trip, a quick three hour flight by jet from Sydney to Christchurch before jumping on a slower form of air transport for the flight from Christchurch to Queenstown. Being close to the ground gives me a chance to watch the geography drift by. Below me are the Canterbury Plains, but the transition to the rugged central Otago region is rapid. I didn't know it at the time, but in a couple of days I'll be riding round that stunning lake just 10,000 feet below me. I caught a glimpse of one track in these rugged mountains, and that was my first hint that this was going to be a ride to remember. Troops start marching in. Yes, <laughs> they're here. So who owns the who owns the K, KLX? Jono. The green. Jono, come down. I want to get a bit from you. <laughs> so Jono, where are you from? Uh, Colville. Colville. Coromandel. Where's that? Coromandel. Right. And what do you do for a crust? Oh, uh, farmer. Farmer. Yeah. There's a lot of farmers in this group, isn't there? Yeah, seems to be. Eh? <laughs> yeah. So mate, you're the only one with the green machine. Is it yeah. going to flog these orange things or what? Oh, I think it'll bloody um, get there, eh? <laughs> okay. Beautiful day, Dave. Bit of snow. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I've packed my raincoat, but I don't think I'm going to need it. Okay, guys, you've got about 10 minutes before we go, okay? 10 minutes. Before we head off, I thought we'd have the opportunity to just show you where we are, Alexandra, and where we're heading, Naseby. New Zealand high country, we're here. First flat tyre. Tell you what though, I'd like to get a dollar for the audience, every person in the audience. Tokyo keeps moving like nobody knows the time. Still too slow for letting go of angels left behind. It never was intended. How's the ride going? Oh, it's pretty good. It's the first day, so it's all shaking down. Just getting used to the tracks and getting people sorted out, you know. Just get those first day jitters out of the way. It's his service with a smile. Oh, you know, He's guys. doing a good job. Now these are the people behind the scenes making sure we get this all done. So thank you, Connie. Once you go in here, you'll see what sort of lunch is turned on. And... Yeah, it should mm. be good. Three great meals a day are provided by High Country Trail. Half a day into day one, how's it going? It's going really well, I think. The guys seem to be really happy and so that makes me happy. Those uh, grass trails were awesome, you know. Never been ri They hadn't been ridden for ages. Well, they hadn't been ridden by me for about two months, so that's... Simon's description of the slippery muddy trails was interesting. Well, they say slippery as a bloody dingo in Darwin, wouldn't it? They could. The 
TV junk is still in bed. When a man will call for rain, the food of man won't feel your pain. And I'm sharpening my knife. And I'm running for my life, yeah. And I'm cutting my way through. But this medicine won't do. She's going good? Yeah, can't beat a car, so. It's a sea of orange, yeah. It's, it's good you're representing the. It's almost got to. Yeah. Hey? It's about one of the only uh, green things in Otago. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's bugger all grass. <laughs> Otamatata Station is the largest merino sheep farm in New Zealand and we were very privileged to be spending most of the day on it. Way in the distance there you'll see them coming down the zigzag. This is Oma Matata Sheep Station, an unbelievably fortunate ride for us. Uh, Robbie has gained permission off the farmer to come here. This is fantastic riding. You can see them, little ants. The rocks in central Otago are sharp and mean and I was slightly delayed by one of them cutting straight through my tyre. But if you're going to get one, I couldn't think of a better place. But I'm just too busy feeling sorry for myself for all but one of these riders, the hill climb out of this valley was taken at full noise. But John, the farmer from the North Island, got a little distracted when he saw a large pig in the grass and he gave chase. But no one quite knew where he was going. It's a real treat riding kilometres upon kilometres of grass trails. You can tell access to these places is limited, and we had it all to ourselves. With an inactive situation, I got so tired of now I can't undo myself. It's ten in the evening and I'm still yawning. Saturday feels like a Sunday morning, and I'm still wearing yesterday said. Ten in the evening and I'm still yawning Saturday feels like a Sunday morning And I'm just looking for a place to be again It's ten in the evening and I'm still yawning Saturday feels like a Sunday morning Oh! Give an Aussie a bike and you're fresh and you're going to cut him off Yeah, you either cut him off or roost him Yeah, yeah, probably <laughs> Play racing with a Kiwi rider down this riverbed was great fun, but I was conscious of being the only Australian in a group of 25 riders, and I tried hard to keep away from sheep jokes. Who needs electricity when you've got <laughs> sheep? <laughs> hey, I've said no, I have no sheep jokes. I've not said a sheep joke. That's not a sheep joke. Oh, I'm talking about my missus. <laughs> I, I couldn't start it. It came out of last I was just saying, it's conservation area and we've got a permit. Yep. Fantastic. It's good. It's a hard one. Hard one, but 
deserved. The hill climbs in New Zealand really do go on forever. From the valley floor to a snowball in the chest took about a half an hour. And then there's the river crossings. This was our first of many relatively tricky crossings and a few riders found themselves walking their bikes out. Hey guys, Sean! My Kiwi mate Sean looked a little rusty on this one, and I'd like to say that we all improved in our river crossing skills, but bikes were still being well and truly drowned right up to the final day of the ride. How far are we from beer, gentlemen? One hour. hour. Hurry up. One hour? Half an hour for us. Make that thing go We're fast. going to have a nice cold spate. Yeah. Spate, yeah, I got used you to them You got a VB now. or a Foster's lined up, have you? No, nah, spate will do. Spates. So, Don't forget the S. Do you know what spate stands for? No. Special piss enjoyed in great hotels throughout the south. Sure. That's what spate stands for, all right? Thank you. Now you put that down. <laughs> it's another thing I've learned in the great mate. south land. <laughs> Now there's one thing you want to avoid on Robbie's High Country Trail Tour, and that's the Lamb Chop Award. The Lammy, as it is affectionately known, is given out at the end of the day's ride to the rider who did the most memorably funny or dumb thing during the day. I got no petrol, but... Well this is how I won the award, a significant brain fade on my part. The switch just kicked me up, I just got no petrol. Oh yeah, just put the girls waiting on. Ah, that's it. Bloody Aussies. Oh, it's mine too straight. Different than Aussies. Bloody Aussies. Well, after that little effort, the lamb chop was heading my way. And then Sean blasted past me, showered me in water, and then coated me in dust. Oh, we've got a little bit of a hemorrhage there. Metal putty is a must around here. The rocks are sharp and unforgiving. And over the coming days, we would have more than our fair share of engine casings cracked by them. And a familiar trend was emerging. I found that breakdowns in New Zealand are generally accompanied by the most spectacular mountain view you've ever seen. Fortunately for us, the small township of Otamatata where we were staying for the night was within sight and downhill all the way, so the tow into town was reasonably trouble free. Here now, we're going to be here again later. Oh, that's pretty simple. I don't like the way you're pointing across yeah. the water there. Yeah. But in the middle, yeah. <laughs> and the other thing that you might find, and we'll certainly see them, we're most likely going to see dead ones, will be wallabies, because the wallabies. The wallabies. The wallabies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we shoot them around. Not the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the useless rugby players, are they? <laughs> shoot them too. <laughs> guy's just had a moment and you can see the tracks right along and then he's come off here. Now just to fill you in, um, that's a long way down. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, come around the corner there, sitting down actually, and yeah. hit that bloody tussock you know, yeah. into the rock. And then you went along, I can went see you. along and straight over the edge and dived off. Oh, right. How far did you roll down the bank? Down below the rose ups there. Holy cow. <laughs> Be happy. But shaky. Well, no one's injured, Dave. That's no, the best that's thing. That's good. That's good. That's good. It's probably my job to pull the bike back out, so I'm pleased. <laughs> She's been really good to me. Is it? Oh, oh, look. Oh, oh, there's a nice little spot going there. Oh, you always just like to share your sheep, don't you? But as someone said, it's early days yet. <laughs> This high country trail tour has been a great experience. It's not only the fantastic riding and the magnificent scenery, I've taken away so much more, like the trail tips and the riding techniques, and just hanging out with a great bunch of people. You make a mistake along these trails, and uh, you're going to have to push your bike out. We just came out of a morning mist. You can still see it in the valley below. And Mount Cook in the background. What else can you ask for? It's fantastic. Home inside these walls. If home is where the heart is, there's nothing left to see. My lock the door and throw away my key. Yeah, she's enjoying the view too. Now it's time I introduce Chris, a helicopter pilot from the North Island who loves nothing better than wheeling past his mates at speed. That's the closest he gets to flying on his husky. Welcome to Chris Cam. <laughs> now I don't stall too often in river crossings. So it's always good to do it with a decent audience, particularly Aussie hungry Kiwis. But I've stuck myself right in the middle. But I wasn't the only one that was going to stuff up at this crossing, and in a couple of minutes James from Taranaki in the North Island was going to take his KDM 450 to underwater depths, usually reserved for Polaris submarines. Keep going, Sean. That's got to be a contender for lamb chop. Yeah, I think so. James had mistaken the frantic waving of everyone to go to a shallower crossing for, come in, the water's fine. And a lamb chop, I think, was heading his way tonight. Hey, can we have an explanation there, please? Explanation? <laughs> I thought you got me that way. <laughs> Look at the look on his face. Oh no, no. Fortunately my bike hadn't been sunk as dramatically as James's and due to Joe's excellent mechanical skills my bike was ready to go in a few minutes. But as I expected I was reminded by my Kiwi cousins that I had sunk my bike. You go the extra mile don't you? He tries but I do him inside and out. Mate, that's the Aussie way. Let's go the extra distance. <laughs> Three or four metres underneath. <laughs> One more river crossing to go before lunch, and it was a real challenge. It was deep and flowing relatively quickly. Your attitude? At lunch, James reflected on his bike drowning that he knew had probably won him the Lammy Award. I got it. You're my best competition. <laughs> <laughs> this ride really punishes bikes, and it was taking its toll. In the next couple of hours, we would lose two with mechanical problems. Oh me, oh my. Bit of attrition on the bikes, it's pretty tough going though. It's, it's marvellous terrain for wearing things out and breaking people. <laughs> yeah. So you can see all the rocks and stuff, they're quite sharp rocks. And 
Yeah. Pop out easy. Yep, and they roll and they tip. There's one thing I love about breaking down New Zealand. <laughs> the views. <laughs> From this lofty ridge, there was only one way down. Robbie had discovered a goat track that if you weren't careful would throw you straight over the handlebars. But the effort was worth it, and Sean and I picked our way to a great viewing spot over Lake Benmore. Walking down a bridge, you can bare feet where everything looks the same. And I don't think I can walk these roads anymore. And now I'm walking down the busy street in bare feet where everyone knows your name. I'm just going to a place I've been before. So won't you take me out? How'd you like your gnarly hill, bud? I loved your gnarly hill. Did you get out of town? I felt like <laughs> you're a sad sad man. <laughs> Robbie's WR250F was taking the extreme yeah, conditions in its it. stride. And it only required an air filter to be cleaned before it was ready for the next day. I can't believe you got all that mud after you cleaned it so well in that river. It's got a bit more mud on it now. <laughs> <laughs> Oop, mechanics be his friend, eh? Mate, how's your bike holding up? Yeah, it's better than me. <laughs> it's all good, thank you. That's good. Bob, got to give you some attention. How's this Wusserberg going? Wusserberg? Wusserberg? <laughs> Can't handle the pace. <laughs> Kick it like you mean it. Uh, Kick it like you stole it. <laughs> Central Otago is punishing for bikes. Razor sharp rocks, deep, fast flowing river crossings, and hill climbs that go on forever test bikes to their limits, and it was beginning to take its toll. Joe cautioned us on the river crossings for the day and gave James a little reminder about hand signals. This way is a little bit more demanding of excellent technique, guys. <laughs> this, this means no. stop. Stop. Because in Australia that means proceed further out to sea. <laughs> uh, not in Australia. <laughs> Very privileged to yet again go on Ota Matata Station, the largest mer merino sheep herd in New Zealand. It was my great privilege to ride behind Joe Forsyth. Just watch how, with minimum effort, he gets that 5.30 exactly where he wants it. For the six days and the 1,200 kilometres, I tried to overtake Sean on the back wheel a couple of times, but he wasn't having a bar of it. Nothing 
gonna do no place to be oh This trial was jam-packed with deep, fast river crossings, and you had to make every one of them a winner. Oh, shoot! I reckon a six-second sinking of your bike would have to make you a contender for the Lamb Chop Award. <laughs> Are you a bit, uh, going for a swim? Down there all, eh? <laughs> These Kiwis don't look after each other sometimes. Have a go at this. Whoa. Who do you think's going to be the next recipient of the Lammy? Oh, I think Simon's got to have it. He was trying to swim with it. This time, Quacker went all right today, didn't it? It got there. Just cruise mode. That was good, mate. That was flowing fast and wet. Um, and then... We came to the Manukurukia River, and I've seen the footage, and that would probably be an 80% crossing. We need to see that footage. <coughs> that went to a zero. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but anyway, I reckon, Simon, you can read on something. I thought it was a Maori sport event when you had to do a swimming and motorcycle. <laughs> Ah, the sound of a 4.50 in the morning in central Otago. A bit of steam rising off bit the of steam rising off the exhaust. Anyway, we're leaving Aturi Hua. We go across here. After four days of the most spectacular riding I'd ever experienced, I really didn't expect it to get any better. But the climb to Mount Paisa at 2,000 metres really was something special. Take me out, move my stuff to slow. Take me out, the place where no one knows. Take me over to the islands of the free. Won't you take me there? It's a place I wanna be. Walking down a quiet path of long grass with no one else around. And just myself and a couple good friends who hide from the world below. And now I'm walking down a quiet path through long grass, no desire to be found. We got our day, so we can take it nice and slow. So won't you take me out? The movement starts to slow. Take me out to the place where no one knows. Take me over. The next challenge was getting across the deepest and fastest flowing river crossing of the six day tour. Many of the riders had difficulty, and some of our best ended up taking a deep, long swim. This was a great environment to select the next Lamy recipient, and everyone knew that if they didn't want that little friend stuck to the top of their helmet, they had to get across here clean. 
Sean was the first to go mighty close to taking a swim. But he just managed to pull it off. Not everyone was that lucky. Oh no, get it up, get it up, get it up, get it up. Oh, the poor bugger. The next to take a swim was Lester, a very experienced racer, and his Kiwi mates shared in his disappointment. <laughs> yeah, that's what I reckon. And then Dave Mack, the sweet, came along and showed us all how it should have been done. But I suspect that 35 kilos in his backpack kept him firmly in line. The Kiwis are incredibly fast at getting drowned bikes back on the road, and I learned a number of pointers from them. Like to get that going so quick. They strain the carby bowl out. Yeah. Make sure that there's no water in the carby bowl. Yeah. And I think he was lucky enough not to get it down into the engine. So yep. um, it wasn't a major drowning. Right. Um, now he's got to check the oil and make sure it's not creamed up. The international riders amongst the group felt this area reminded them of riding in Spain. A short, snotty hill that could bite you if you're unlucky. Come on, you outlaws and believers. Come on, you angels of the night. Stand up and count it and remember. To fly your colors is your right. I saw you flying like an eagle. Across the southern skies I saw you looking for an answer With the light of honor in your eyes With an iron will And the wind in my face I'll ride forever Just to get to this place After reaching the summit of Mount Paisa, we thought to ourselves that it just couldn't get any better. But we were wrong, and Robbie gave us a special treat for the final day. Day six was a crisp, clear morning. From Queenstown, we would take a ferry across Lake Wakatipu to a nearby farm. The question that I'm talking about, go down the other side of the river. By this stage, we're at Sissel Peak Station. We ride out on the station track, and the barge would have come around the corner, pick us up. Our last day, and we lined up for the obligatory photograph. It was bitterly cold, and I got to thinking just five days ago as strangers, we had come together to take on Central Otago on dirt bikes, and now we had reached the final day and shared this experience as mates. This is so much more than just a dirt bike ride. The cold was taking its toll. One of the riders wanted to stop at the Cardrona Hotel for a quick one. And mufflers became hand warmers. 
But Simon, oh. that previous Lammy recipient, had another form of warming God, on his mind. Me. He's not coming! <laughs> now the trip across Lake Wakatipu to the farm didn't appear to me to be too far. But Simon and his girl seemed to think it was an overseas trip. What are you doing? Oh, come on! Have a great time! Hello! Oh, wow! Oh, okay. Sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Come on, you've said goodbye five times, for God's sakes. <laughs> I'm going to get a hard time now. <laughs> That's the only reason I can. <laughs> <laughs> Worked. The trip across the lake was relaxing. That was until I realised Joe was steering. Joe driving this. It's even got handlebars. It's got handlebars. It handles like a badge. <laughs> She's going warps. Stay here by me. Just amazing. Yep. Yeah, but everything in there. Everything. about motorbikes mechanically and learn a heap about how to ride them better. It just needs one hell of a trip and to top it off with a heap of new friends, all who share the love of motorcycling in any form.
It's been a hoot and uh, I strongly recommend it to anyone. It's just an absolute blast. Passing through 